Hi, I'm Eric Simon. I'm an associate professor of biology at New England College in Henniker, New Hampshire. Every semester, I teach a non-majors introductory biology course called Biology and Society. This course is taken only by non-majors students who are trying to fulfill their general education requirement. So these students, for the most part, do not want to be there. They're scared of science or they think that they don't like biology. And so a big part of my job in this course is to convince students that this material is interesting and relevant to their lives. Luckily, that's not too hard, right? We're living in a golden age of biology. There has never been a better time to teach biology, right? I mean, you open up any newspaper or watch any news broadcast, and there is going to be some connection between something in there and what I'm trying to teach in my class. And so I found that students like to learn about what they hear about in their everyday lives. That you can use these issues and these current events to grab students' attention, to hook them, and to draw them in in a way that allows me to then teach them what it is I really want to teach them, the core content that I'm interested in communicating. For example, I really want to teach my students about biological macromolecules and basic chemistry, so I use a hook of nutrition. If I want to teach them about DNA structure, I'll use a hook of forensics, because students are very interested in that. If I want to teach them about mitosis and the cell cycle, very boring topic, so I'll tell the students, well, I'm going to teach you about cancer. And I found that students are very willing to sit through this basic content, this core content like the cell cycle, if they understand that ultimately it is going to apply to their lives and it is going to be important. So I actually organize my class into a series of units, each of which discusses one particular topic of interest. So for example, I have a unit on nutrition and digestion, and I have another unit on DNA technology, and a unit on uh, sex, that is on both the cellular level and on the organismal level. And that allows me to tie in a lot of important topics. Each one of these units has multiple components. It includes book chapters and classroom lectures that are based on those book chapters. There's typically laboratory activities that help tie them together. I might assign videos or other multimedia for the students to watch on their own, or I might show it in class. I try to invite a guest speaker if I can, because that helps liven things up. I'll give the students mastering biology assignments, and I'll assign them articles, such as the New York Times articles that I can assign through Mastering Biology, or the Scientific American Current Issues in Biology articles. And I find that students are much more willing to work their way through these articles and to discuss them in class if they clearly see the relevance to their own lives. Now, in addition to the units that I put on my syllabus, I allow my students to vote on what issues they would like to learn about. So what I do is I, I take as many issues as I can think about. I'll say, okay, uh, the flu, or sexually transmitted diseases, or reproductive technologies, or global climate change. And I create a big list of about 30 or 40 of these issues, and I put them up using a survey tool, either the, the survey manager in Blackboard or WebCT, or an outside service like SurveyMonkey. I then assign the students to go and take the survey and vote on those topics that they would most like to learn about. Whichever topics get the most votes, that's what I do. So typically, I'll spend three weeks teaching a unit that I want the students to learn about, and then one week teaching a unit that they want to learn about. Now, I think this helps empower the students to feel like they have some control over their own learning, and is, of course, much more likely to hit on a topic that truly is interesting to them. And once you've done that, I think it's much easier to engage these non-major students in discussions and active learning activities and other you know, tools that we like to use in the classroom in order to help them learn this material. Please, if you'd like a list of uh, you know, my ideas or a copy of my syllabus or course schedule, please go ahead and contact me using this email. Thanks for watching. I'm Eric Simon. Good luck with your class.